not many surprises out there, especially here in this rivalry with the Pens and the Islanders. Off we go, second half of the home-and-home -home series. And it was the Islanders who got the 5-4 shootout victory. Here is Sidney Crosby in front for Raquel, denied by Sorokin. Crosby, a lot of chemistry with Raquel, of course with Jake Gensel. Attack continues, Gensel turning and shooting, sails wide, and Crosby on the follow-up. That's shut down by Sorokin. Extreme circumstances with the two players who are out, and it's also an overtime game. But a lot of hockey for number 87. Same thing with Jake Gensel, he scored twice. Gensel, met by Dobson, spins it back to Latang. Latang loads up, fires, he scores! Chris Latang. The first one, look at Jake Gensel. Controlling that puck, spinning around to find the Latang out on that point position. And then he gets out front, provides the screen. So not only spinning off Dobson, he gets in front in the lane of this shot. It goes right by Gensel. Don't think he touches it. Sorokin's deep in the net. He can't see it at all. Walking in, back to Pollock on the one-timer. That was blocked by Bluger. Defending his Dumoulin, trying to dig it out. Heinen out of the box, and he is wide open. He's got a break for it. Back to Heinen, and he scores! Out of the box, on the floor, Denton Heinen! They obviously can't hear anything. And Heinen comes out of the box. What a play by McGinn. Goes five hole before Sorokin can get set up. That almost looks, it almost looked planned, and it almost looked too easy. And the Penguins take advantage. Casey to Smith was very good the other night. Here comes Jake Gensel. Got some space. Fires. Stopped by Sorokin. Had no clue where it was. Diving for it was Gensel. But the Islanders get it to the wall and skeet it out. And uh, I say that without reservation. And the four on four continuing to Madison. Back to the captain. He's denied by Sorokin. Ruger recovers the puck, and then the pass is missed by Ruby. It actually broke and sticks, so he's empty-handed. Here comes Barzell. Flying in, catches up to the puck. He pivots. He's got a chance. Barzell over Parisi. He scores! Zach Parisi on the setup from Matt Barzell. Parisi's got another goal here in this home-and-home -home series. And we've got a 2-1 score. Here it comes. Coming around. Goes right through the stick. He drops it. It must be broken. He gets back, but stopping up right there is Barzell making that play. I don't know how many other players other than Barzell could have made that play. Then he finds Parise, he gets it over the pad and under the glove as Tristan Jari tries to extend as far as he can there to deny that opportunity. But Matt Barzell makes a play. This is Matt Martin. Gonna angle it down low, hit some skates. It's recovered by Dobson, looks it back to Johnson, he missed it, out come the Penguins on a two-on-one, Crosby will lead the charge, Sidney Crosby with the pass over, score! Jake Getzel! They are money, Crosby and Getzel, and it's 3-1. And if it's those two guys, you're in trouble. Defense gets beat, you know, they're taking, Charles trying to take away this pass. Chara does everything he can. He shades over to Gensel. He allows Crosby to go in. But Gensel is able to get that puck on a great feed from Crosby, an aerial pass that lays right on the tape. And he goes through the body of Chara to the far side of Sorokin, who's moving. The card Raquel will chip it forward. Here's Jake again, joined by Carter this time. Goes to Freeman down the middle with a backhand try. And just deflected away from Gensel. Here's Barzell, over to Pellick. Barzell gets that puck on goal somehow. Well, I don't know how he got the stick away from Rui, or how to lift it up, and... Yeah, that roll away, Dobson, also for Prince Edward Island, picks up speed through center. Turnover, Gensel, two on oh with Crosby. The pass, Gensel, Crosby, he scores! There's the magic again, Gensel, Crosby, and it's 4-1. Well, a couple of PEI guys got caught on an island by themselves. And then it was just Crosby and Malkin. And Sorokin played it perfectly. He went post to post with his skates. Watch Sorokin. Great push. Crosby, where, there was no room there and he put it in. What a shot. Right over the glove. Off the shoulder. Super Bowl presented by AHN. 
Chip in the center for Jeff Carter. Rust Carter in tight on the backhand. And I by Sorokin. And that net has come off that same post. These guys are always ready to play. They, they, they come prepared each and every night. They don't take, they don't take nights off. The loose puck in front is jammed in by Anders Lee. Well, the Islanders will not go away. 237 on the clock. Anders Lee with his first goal in 10 games. It's a 4-2 score. And now they're uh, they they're going to go and probably use a timeout if they get puck possession. They're going to pull their goaltender. The Penguins run over their own netminder here. Take a look as Lee chips his puck over Jari. You're going to see Latang run right into Tristan Jari. Boy, those goaltenders they can really take a beating. And you just hope their legs don't get lodged underneath them when players crash over top of them like that. It, that's got to be so dangerous. He's already got hit in the head. Punched in behind the goal. Bailey wins the battle. Pajot checked by Bluger. Net is empty. Jeff Carter with McGinn. Home free. Brock McGinn buries it. Yapping with Bluger right now, but it was a battle down in the corner that the Penguins were able to win. Bluger to Carter. And McGinn's going to finish it off. Still a lot of discussion between these two teams right now. Rolling puck. McGinn tries to settle it down. Good to see him back on the board. Those are those responsible guys you like to have in your lineup. Guys like Bluger, Carter, and McGinn. Two sentiment on the ice for even more. Go to the Hockey Hall of Fame and take a look. The gloves are so short these days. Yeah. Players prefer it that way. Look out, Taro with a drive, and he scores. Brings that one off the post. This time it's posted in. Zidane Chara with his first of the season. Didn't even look like he brought it back far, did he? Well, his waist is about seven feet high. So he just ripped the shot, guys. Might have went off the shaft of the stick of Dumoulin. And you could see when it, even when it went in the net. Barzell, steep angle, deflects to the wall. Nelson with 16 seconds left in the third. Penguins leading by two, swing and a miss from Dobson. And Jake Getzel with the net empty. He scores! Jake Getzel with the put away. He couldn't get one shot. Penguins kept the pressure to the outside. Dobson whiffs on a bouncy puck. And become a really fast skater when there's an empty net. Uh, this Fair. one is over. It is a sweet 16 years of playoff hockey in the Berg. The Penguins are headed back to the Stanley Cup playoffs.